In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a drawing layer and draw on that layer using one of the tools. And this works in all three versions of Harmony. So first we're going to start a, we're going to actually create a drawing layer. And we already have a drawing layer here that was created with the project, but I'm going to show you how to make your own drawing layer. And there are several ways. One way we can go up to the insert menu and go down to drawing. We can also go to this plus in the timeline view and add in drawing. Or we can use control R, uh, the hotkey control R to create a drawing that way. I'm going to go ahead and select my drawing layer this way. It's going to ask you to name your drawing layer. You can go ahead and name that bird. And then click add and close. So now we have our bird layer up. Now I'm going to select a tool. Uh, for this I'm going to actually use the pencil tool right here, but we also have the brush tool as an option. And we also have shape tools such as line, rectangle, ellipse, and polyline. But for this example we're going to go ahead and stick with the pencil. Now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to rotate my canvas. To rotate your canvas you'll hold control and alt at the same time. And If you ever want to reset the canvas you can hit shift X and it'll reset that rotation. I'm going to go over ahead and rotate this again. I'm going to use the bird as my reference and I'm going to use the inks as my color. Now actually before I go ahead and do this, let me hit shift M and go back to our original view. I'm actually going to use a different view for uh, my drawings. I'm actually going to use the drawing view. So if I click on that, you're going to see that it's blank. And that's because I need to um, add, I need to tell it to use the light table so I can see the layers underneath. To do that, you'll notice in the drawing view there is no toolbar. If I right click on the empty space at the top, I can get a drop down asking for which toolbar I want. And I want the drawing view toolbar. Now that ad is added at the bottom. In that toolbar is a little yellow light bulb icon. This is the icon that will show me the light table. If I click on that, I can now see all the other layers that are not currently active in the timeline view. That would be the hawk roofs, the mountain bush, and the mountain top layout. And if I turn those off, we can see that they disappear in the drawing view. So with my bird layer activated, I've gone and skipped ahead to frame 13. Using my pencil tool, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing this wing. Actually, I'm not too... It's okay, but I'd likely like it to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And I'm going to go to my tool properties. And I'm going to, in maximum size, I can either drag the little square or I can bring it up with these arrows. And I'm going to bring it up to 7. It's a little bit too thick. Let's drop that down to 5. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and draw this again. That's not too bad. And I, even after I've drawn my line, I can actually still alter the line without having to redo it again. And in this case, I'm going to use my contour tool, which is the little white arrow, and click on it. Now I can now see that there are different points on my line. If I double click a point, I can see that it makes handlebars. I can actually alter my line after I draw it using the spline. You can also kind of push and pull with the contour and reshape your line that way. So you don't have to completely undo everything. You can always just edit it up a little bit afterwards. I've gone ahead and done that. I'm actually going to do a few more lines right here. And you can see that I've actually crossed over my line. And there's another tool I can use to actually clean that up a little bit faster than using my eraser, and that's the cutter tool, which is found up in the select drop-down menu. With the cutter tool, I can actually pick pieces off by, I'm going to undo that and show it again. I'm going to drag the cutter tool across the line I don't want anymore, and I'll actually slice that line right off, and I'll do that again. And now I have a more uh, organized point to this wing tip. I can do it over here too. I can see how that was adding a little bit. And I'll go back to my contour, contour tool and kind of poke and prod at this and clean this up a little bit. And all this is being done without having to redraw that line. 
I'll draw a few more, a little bit more of this wing tip here. And again, I'm going to go back over this with my cutter tool and pick off a few of these pieces. If it's being stubborn, you can actually click on the piece that you want to go away and you can hit delete on your keyboard and that'll actually delete those pieces as well. Or again, you can kind of slice across them and lop them off that way. Oops. You have to be careful. Sometimes you can actually take off an entire piece that you do want. So you have to be careful about what you pull off. There we go. So now I've deleted a few of those and we can see that this is coming along quite well. I'm actually going to go ahead and paste the final image of that after I've gone ahead and uh, inked everything. So let me just paste that in really fast. There we go. So here is my final inked and you can see I still have a few pieces that need to be cleaned up here and there. There we go. And so here is my inked bird. Now this is just one drawing. We still have all these other drawings to do. And you can go forward and backwards in the timeline view and skip from drawing to drawing by either hitting, hitting F to go back. In this case, it's going to go all the way back to the front because there's no frames behind it. Or G to go to a frame ahead. So, Or you can also drag your red timeline ticker. And from there, you can go ahead and proceed and continue to ink your bird drawing. And if you want to see what my finished inks look like for this particular bird, you can go to your library, uh, find the Hawk Inks template, drag it into the timeline view, and I'll go ahead and turn off the other uh, bird and I'm going, I can scroll through, let me zoom out here, and turn off the roughs, and you can see what my inks actually turned out. So, this is uh, the finals for my inks. And that's how you create a layer and use the drawing tools.